Welcome, it's Dinome. In this video, we're going to take a look at ETH 2.0 because it's finally here. So version 1.00 of the Ethereum blockchain version 2 is here now. And this is the source code. You can download it. We're going to take a look at what it means for Ethereum. We're going to take a look at the price action and uh, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin price action as well as we're going to touch the subject of the ele US elections. So if you think this is interesting, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So first, um, this is the place GitHub page where you can actually have all the Zinken, which was the last testnet. You had the uh, Spadina testnet files, you had the Medala testnet files. So these files were always added here. So this is the place for ETH 2.0 to go to. And you can download all these files already. And uh, these are going to be the files that are going to be used for the launch. And I don't actually know when the launch will be. Maybe one week from now, two weeks from now, maybe today. I don't know if anybody actually knows. And I don't know where to actually check it. So if you know when Ethereum will go live, let me know. But uh, these are the files that are going to be used for that. And of course, when this uh, happened five hours ago, uh, when this was updated, uh, people on the uh, Twitter went pretty, pretty nuts on the Ethereum side. And uh, yeah, people are pretty excited about this. And what it means for Ethereum is that it's going to be deflationary, deflationary for Ethereum because uh, Ethereum 2.0 will be its own blockchain. And you can convert your ETH into ETH 2.0, but you cannot go back into uh, uh, ETH 1, basically. Uh, and what you can do on Ethereum 2.0, you don't have any smart contracts, you don't have any MetaMask, you don't have any liquidity, you don't have anything there. You can only stake your Ethereum there. And the APY at first will be high, but then people expect it to go down, down to like 3% APY. And uh, that will require uh, 32 ETH in order to have it. And I think a lot of people will want to run their own, own own nodes on Ethereum to bring the security up and to get the small APY that you can get from that. So uh, I think overall that will be bullish for Ethereum because a lot of people will want to have that 32 ETH or more and they will want to stake it and uh, they want to be in Ethereum for the long term. And that will, of course, take the uh, ETH from circulation from the current Ethereum blockchain. So if you have money on the liquidity pools or something like that, uh, if you have less uh, circulating ETH, that will usually drive the price up. And uh, that's why I think it's bullish for Ethereum. But should you convert into ETH 2.0? I don't think so, because there could be a flaw, there could be a hack, which means that you could actually lose your Ethereum if something happens, something bad happens there. So I wouldn't FOMO into ETH 2.0, but uh, the price action for Ethereum, I think it's bullish unless there's any major flaws there. So that's basically the update, uh, what's, what it means for Ethereum. But now let's talk about the price. Uh, so before I talk about Ethereum, let's talk about Bitcoin first because that's where all eyes are right now. So this is actually pretty funny to look at live because you can see this go up and down uh, depending what's ha happening there. So uh, Bitcoin actually had this pump here when uh, up to 14k when uh, Biden was actually winning Georgia and Florida and uh, it actually dr uh, drastically dropped when Trump was winning Florida again so that was pretty interesting I don't know if those two are correlated but it's just interesting to look at uh, in real time and there's a theory going on as well that I want to highlight as well and the theory goes like uh, there's a lot of people uh, outside the United States there's a lot of people inside the United States who have money, but they hate uncertainty. And when cer certainty comes back to the market, basically when the election is over, that's when the money will re-enter the market and invest again. So uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. And of course, that theory is bullish for Bitcoin, like most theories out there. But anyway, that's another theory that could work out. And uh, my buy orders are still at 12,500 for Bitcoin at this level. We'll see if those ever fill or not. But that's my buy area. We'll see if it drops or not. Uh, usually after the election, uh, there's not be <laughs> hasn't been too many. But on 2016, uh, Bitcoin actually pumped high uh, after the election was done and Trump was elected. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, it's, it, I wouldn't be bad to be on the sidelines either. But now let's talk about Ethereum because that's the major, major thing right now. So this is the Ethereum to Bitcoin price chart. So it tracks which one is performing better or worse. So when this is going up, Ethereum is actually performing better than Bitcoin. And for a short period, uh, this has been actually going down. And if you zoom out, 
where we have actually bottomed uh, with Ethereum to Bitcoin price action here uh, this summer uh, or, and in, even in 2019. And since then, uh, Ethereum has had this steady climb upwards and uh, Ethereum used to be much more valuable than Bitcoin. And from here, we're in this trending channel and uh, that's why I have drawn these support lines here. So this is the first support line that uh, Ethereum could have a bounce compared to Bitcoin. The next one would be uh, down at these levels and the next one would be down here. And this, was, this is a major one because it has touches here and here as well. So these are basically the, uh, the potential downside for Ethereum. And if it would go that low, the potential downside is like 10%. 11% compared to Bitcoin, but the potential upside here is like 35%, uh, maybe 50% if, it go, if, you, if we go all the way up here. So that's the potential upside for Ethereum. There's of course risks there, but if you just take a look at the RSI, uh, on a trending bull market, when the RSI is this low, it usually means it's going to have a, re a reversal. So if you take a look at here, uh, it was RSI was this low, and then we had this massive bull run for Ethereum. Uh, RSI was here, it had this mini pump, uh, RSI was all the way down here and it had this uh, this nice pump here as well. So usually when RSI is this low, uh, that's very good for the bull run and usually means there's a reversal coming up. But uh, it doesn't always mean that. So if the price is actually going to start trending downwards and you see RSI at these levels, then it's actually not that good. <laughs> you can see it, it can go much, much lower than uh, you would ever expect. So this was the support line, but it was bro broken here. And then it just kept tanking compared to Bitcoin. So that could happen. But if this is going to trend upwards, this is probably the area where it could have the re reversal for Ethereum. So uh, personally, I'm more bullish on Ethereum than I am on Bitcoin. So you can make your own decisions from based on this. And <clears throat> previously, just want to say that uh, usually either altcoins pump first, then Ethereum and Bitcoin, or Bitcoin pumps first, then Ethereum, then altcoins. So we'll see which one actually goes up from here. Uh, Ethereum has been a little bit stagnant while Bitcoin has been pumping. So Ethereum could pump from here uh, and then altcoins could follow. But we'll see how everything goes. Uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on this. Uh, just wanted to uh, and let you know that ETH 2.0 is going to launch very, very soon. And uh, when that launches, I will probably make another video on Ethereum. Uh, I'm considering making a video about stable coins, which are the best stable coins. Let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, but that's what I've been researching lately. And uh, if you think this is interesting, uh, if you thought this was good analysis, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below what you thought about this. Let me know if you want me to cover some other areas and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.